On today's episode of Watch Chair Go, we do the ultimate geo tracker brake job. What is going on guys, I'm Watch Chair Go, and today I'm here with Lamborghini. She's hiding in the back because we're gonna take this for a quick little whip around the block. And then uh, Zach's here, he hasn't been in it of course. And uh, then we're gonna get all of this turned into uh, parts that turn on this car. Uh, there aren't really any brakes, so we're not taking on any long trips yet. And there's no e-brake, which is the biggest problem here. So we've had the wheels chalked every time we work on it. So today we're gonna get rid of those wheel chalks, I hope. And uh, as long as there's no problems with the parking brake actual, we should have it fixed with new drums and new shoes. Let's hop in this, take it around the block, and get busy pulling these wheels off. The speedometer kind of works. I mean, obviously there's no needle, but I can see it trying to turn the center. It's pretty cool. Woo! It's kind of fun back here. Yeah, I know, right? The rear is gigantic. I wish we the top off again. We probably should have pulled the top. This whole thing feels so much bigger than it actually is. It's like so it feels really big in there. Yeah, I think it's because the windshield's set so far forward. Oh, it fell down a little? I do have to get that window regulator. How much does it lean? What was that? <laughs> oh, the valve. <laughs> that was kind of terrifying. It was. Well, Zach, what do you think? That's awesome. Check this out. Oh. I'm excited to <laughs> take this down to the lake. Heck yeah. I bet it can do some pretty reasonable rock crawling. I'm not sure it will do half of it. Come on, third. Is it just like broke? Yeah, there's uh, bushings that have to be replaced down in there. Two of them. All right, we've got all of our brakes laid out here. Here's the two rear drums, here's the two front discs, and Zach is cutting our template here. I wanted to have a little masking template so we can get paint all the way to the edge here without getting it onto the actual stopping surface of the rotor. So uh, that should prevent any rust down in that corner. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna take some brake clean and I'm going to soak the rotors and drums so we can get all the packing oil off them because we're gonna paint them right here on the cardboard real quick. Duplicolor caliper enamel with ceramic. That's what we're gonna use on the drums and the rotor hats. Should look pretty good, everything's prepped and Zach just got us a template all cut out. Check that out. It is ready to go and slips right over the top of the hats. Let's put it in that two metal tank on. Look, so, right there. Right there. Oh, a little bit more of the texture. Alright, hold on. Man, the discs are so much harder to paint than the drums. Now to let these guys dry, and uh, I'm sure they'll be dry about the time the sun goes down. Oh, the cops are coming. The cops are like three blocks away. <laughs> It is now much later, but we've got the old tracker jacked up and uh, all of our brake parts that we painted so far are dry. So let's get these tires off here. Also, it's, it's really time for me to buy electric impacts. Man, all these things are, they are really on there. A wheel coming off. Hey, that was easy. You got the height right on point. These are M8 holes. You can put a bolt in there and use it to drive off the uh, drum. But what we're gonna do is spray a little knocker loose right around there and that should loosen everything up. We'll smack it with a two by four. Should come right off. Well, we decided to go ahead and use the M8 bolt because I had one laying around. This one's a 13 mil head and uh, hopefully this impact pops it right off. I think it's completely off at this point. There we go. Wow. <laughs> it's tight. Yeah, that was tight. And those are toast. Look at that. It's a disaster in there. Also, I want to 
get my bolt back. Ah! Ooh -wee. We are going to replace every bit of this. Looks like we can actually turn this to uh, access everything in here. But let's take a couple pictures, make sure we know what springs go where, and then start replacing each little piece. These are caliber guide pins. That is not what we needed. Drum is off, so now we can pull this upper spring that holds the pads together. Spring is out. Pull the lower little spring here. All right. Well, it's out, good deal. That one should be free. One down. That's one way to get that bottom spring off. I plan on replacing every bit of hardware in here as well, but unfortunately, I ordered it from O'Reilly's and it never came in. You can tell there's not a lot of friction material left on these guys. They are basically to the metal. So I'm thrilled to have some new drums in the back. Okay, so I've got the first shoe on now and the retainer clip is in. Uh, to do the retainer clip, of course, you just kind of put it on the pad like this and then push down and turn it 90 degrees until it sticks in that slot right there. So those are relatively easy to do. And now here's our adjuster, run it all the way back down. So it's set up for new pads and I'll leave it just slightly loose right there. Should be good to go. And now to put in a new pad. Of course, getting the adjuster all lined up is kind of the tough part. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got that guy in there. Keyboard. Yeah. So now we can finally start putting all of our springs back in here that hold this thing together. I'm gonna go ahead and get behind our drum brake piston there. And this is always the fun part. I do have a drum spring tool, but can usually just get this done with suppliers. So now I'm backing off the uh, star adjuster right under the piston here, if you can see that. It's that guy right there. Taking your screwdriver like that, we'll back it off. You can see I'm turning the little wheel. Each time I turn it, we get a little bit closer there. Okay, so it's adjusted all the way in, set up for some brand new shoes, and now we're going to test fit the drum and uh, just kind of see how it fits on there and then we'll kind of tighten it back up until it just sits on the drum just perfectly. So we want a little bit of friction with the drum going on, but uh, we don't want it to bind or anything like that. And then the adjuster will take care of everything else. Here are our beautiful new drums. I'm so excited about these drums. Should have been pink. Should have been. Wow, these are already tight. Okay, we got it a little bit. I think we can leave the adjuster where it's at. <laughs> those, are, those are friction fit. So now uh, we're gonna do a little bit of magic and make this black again. That is uh, really the key for these open chrome wheels that are on there right now. And now, with more paint everywhere. Oh, she's going. Probably have to go ahead and put the wheel on to get that seated all the way back. But, look at that. Black on black, and it looks good. Let's get our wheel on here. Uh, we're gonna tear this back apart tomorrow. We're just gonna go ahead and quit for tonight. So you guys will see this as one little video because I want new springs and retaining clips and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna go back to O'Reilly's, figure out what happened with my hardware. Then we'll pop this guy back off. It's hard to start this. I need to order a full set of lug nuts. I want them all to match. Uh, so that's on my list too. Yeah, let's grab the impact. And uh, we'll change out that hardware down the road. That's not a big deal. Uh, but I do want all the hardware inside the drums to be correcto. So uh, we're gonna just hand type this for tonight. Just enough to set the uh, tracker down. That's good. Still finger tight right there. All right, that looks like a brand new car. And honestly, you know what? 
Give me, uh, give me three seconds here. Well, I spent a couple seconds with some uh, chrome polish right here, just cleaning up that little bit of chrome, and you could see how awesome it looks with the contrast of a good looking ish, a good looking ish wheel, and that black center on the axle. And you can kind of even see the black drums behind it. Anyway, uh, tomorrow we rip this back apart and replace those springs because I don't want to have old springs on these new drums where everything's nice and perfect and bolt it all back together. And now we are back with the missing parts we needed from our Rileys. So we've got one of everything brand new. All the retainers, all the springs, the clip. Let's get this apart for the second time and replace all of these parts. Actually, I kind of want to take the other side apart. Okay. Try and clear out any rust. Just gonna hold this thing on. If you guys have these clips on here, uh, you're gonna have to either tap them back like this and then get behind them and pry them off like this. But you can get them off either with pliers or you can unscrew them if you pull at the same time, but it's probably easier to just knock them off and uh, keep going from there. All right, there's one. This one has two on it for some reason. It should definitely have only ever had one. Yeah, I think somebody just put them both on one side, but it doesn't need these retainers anyway. I just need to find a way to get it off now. All right, we grabbed some CRC knocker loose. We're gonna soak this. Hopefully that'll help break, break that rust free, hit all the studs since we're in here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and shoot the bolt removal holes. And we're gonna try to force it off with a bolt because it's not wanting to come off. So these holes are nasty, that's for sure. Full of corrosion and junk. As long as we can get this bolt started in one of these holes, we'll be okay. And of course, since we get to ruin these, they're going in the trash immediately. We can uh, do it like this. <laughs> that did not work. Did not work. Let's see if I can get my washer back, but we snapped the bolt clean off. This bolt is brand new. Run it in and out like a drill bit this time. We're getting all the trash out of there. I think we found our problem break. Look at this. This thing, we finally got it apart and it's absolutely toast. What happened in here? The shoes are completely gone. I think maybe somebody changed the brakes over there and then just left this one because they couldn't get it off or something. I don't know. A little bit of CRC brake clean on there. This is bad. Very, very bad. I love the discrepancy between the left and the right. How that one looks beautiful over there? No, no, no. Just look at the left and right shoe there. Uh huh. Or the forward and rear. Yeah. You see yeah. that one is so much thinner than True. That? This one's completely gone. Oh, yeah. That one has a little bit of shoe left down there. I guess I really just need to grab the uh, pliers and start ripping it apart because there are no other options here. Is my hair good? My hair, my hair's good, right? Like, so you got actually you have grease all the way down <laughs> your neck. You, yeah, you have like you four stripes it. of grease. Right here. So let's just be clear of who did the work here, okay? Or at least so, who, who got exposed to the brunt of... We had work. to go get cylinders because we decided that this one's blown out, of course. So I was like, hey, let's just replace them both. And when we went to the store, Gabe cleaned all this up and painted it because, of course, I painted the other hub because we wanted them to look nice and black. So, uh, hey, he got this all knocked out here and it looks beautiful. So now I just have to hop in here with my flare wrench and get our brake line it's off of here, which is actually, these things are on there. And man, are they squirting out some brake fluid. And they're live. So it's going to uh, ruin all the paint. <laughs> on the back side. On the back side. Okay, I think we made some progress there. That one's out. All right, now for the bottom one. You know you have to bleed this from like 
the center. There's a super strange bleed process for this. From the center uh, where it joins there on the uh, up rear up, diff? Yeah, up <laughs> really strange bleeding this. Uh, we're losing, I guess we're gonna gravity bleed it. I mean, that makes sense. That's what we're going for now. So you have two kinds and... Puking, oh, one, they're two different sides. So one side has a bleeder and one side doesn't. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that one's loose. We got one loose here. We gotta hurry or we're gonna lose all of our brake fluid. Well, this one does not have a bleeder. So. Okay, the one without a bleeder is this one. Yeah. This one has dual lines. There's this amazing thing called a text message. You can actually reach out and contact somebody who is not where you are and ask them questions. Like what? Well, like, hey, does this have a bleeder or no? Oh, no, I wanted to replace both. Oh. In that yeah. case, I took back that incredibly <laughs> I was, statement. I, I, was like, I, I was like, we better just do them both. All right, this is our replacement. Our new tactic is just uh, buy all the parts. Yeah, and, and uh, <laughs> buy them all. No, I, I, I was like, you know what, since we're in here, let's just do both of them. They're probably old. Get it done right. There we go, there we go, plugs are out. The lines are in. Toast, toast. Dude, another cylinder came out as well. <laughs> it just fell out. <laughs> That's impressive. That is, that is, look how much debris is in that guy. Wow. Isn't that a big good reason for a brake's not working? Yep, that would be why this was completely worthless. All right, let's get these bolts in here. The guy at AutoZone was arguing with me. He's like, it's called the uh, the rear piston. It's not, that's not a cylinder. It's definitely called something else. That's in your cheek, <sighs> pal. <laughs> well, then there's like an option for uh, it was like soft top or hard top, and he was like, well, I don't know because I don't ride around with you guys or something. Yeah, yeah. I was like, look, I'm telling you it's a soft top because I said it's a soft top, and he was like, I don't roll with you. And I was like, what? I don't understand. <laughs> if you want to ride around with me, I hope you work on cars. Because mine are always broken. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> uh, will you give me one more napkin, please? Because... Uh, my hands are slipping down the wrench as I try to use it. More napkins. More napkins, sir. Please, sir. I, them all. I can finally hang on to my flare wrench again because I wiped off all the brake fluid that was pouring down it. All right. How's this stuff holding up? I'm trying not to ruin your nice new paint job. Yeah, it's, all it's pouring all down here, too, though. <sighs> I'm going to ruin it all. Here we are in brand new braking system headquarters, putting our C clip on the parking brake. That is good to go. Oh yeah, so that's gonna go in there about like that. And of course this guy goes on this side and we're gonna get our springs in here and get everything hung. I was about to say, if they have this thing on there where you can't get another bolt back in there, that's just. We decided to replace a wheel stud and now it's pouring rain and we're trying to get it knocked out. <laughs> I got my wheel stud installer right here, which is pretty cool. Nice. Are you referring to me? This thing. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's is, that's way cool. Yeah, the fancy that tool. That is way cool. I, I like that. But, oh here. man, that thing is in there, isn't it? No, 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 it's kind of. All right, it's got to wiggle. Man. You know, it's like toilet handle. Oh man, you're already there. Yeah, that was quick, dude. I wasn't expecting you to be already there. Come on. Ah. Oh. Hey, man. I'm not just a Mexican, I am the Mexican. Actually, I'm not a Mexican. We can turn this up. You got one, you got one on the other side too that will need to come off. Oh man, two of them need pulled in. What's that? Two of them needed pulled in, all right. What happened to all these wheel studs? Well, I think somebody just didn't know how to install wheel studs and uh, put all these in because a lot of these have been changed, but improperly. Put the uh, impact back on too. Yep, 
You're gonna be one lug nut short over there. I see it. Air compressor's running nonstop. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been a fun break job. Gabe's wrapping up the other side. Uh, we'll come back to you with part two where we do the front. It was all supposed to be one video until it started pouring rain. And that is it for today. Please like, share, subscribe. Do whatever you want to do, and I will talk to you next time. Hoo -hoo.